So I'm going to learn about the internet from the back of a cereal box. The internet and how it works. Chris, what does this uh, cereal box have to tell us about the internet? Well, as you may know, Dave, imagine the internet as an endless interlocking system of highways and roadways. This system is made up of a large network of numerous smaller computer networks. So I guess it's not a series of tubes, as we were led to believe. There is no speed limit on the internet highway. <laughs> no speed limit. You can travel as fast as your internet service provider allows. An ISP is basically your on-ramp to the inter information highway. Your ISP will assign you a unique internet protocol that makes your computer compatible. Now, now let's look at this family here. They seem to be using one of these, um, how you say, internets. And um, now uh, it's it's a very old Mac OS, it looks like. And they're looking up koalas, as you always do. <laughs> and um, one of my favorite pieces here is, is these emoticons. Um, I think that's how you pronounce that. Emoticon, yes. Fun way to liven up a casual email. Are... But, but but only an email. That that's the only uh, thing on the internet you can use an emoticon in, right? Oh look, okay, look at this. Okay, you see, it, it, this is a colon dash parenthesis. But are you watching here? Holy crap! It looks like a Blue smiley face. Your mind. But but these uh, interneters don't seem to be using a keyboard. I think that's some kind of a touchscreen device. <laughs> well, well, clearly this big bulky monitor is is cutting edge touchscreen technology. <laughs> oh, is there a keyboard? There is. Watch your jokes, fellas. Uh, well, it's all fading into the black. Whatever. Way to is. ruin it. It clearly runs on kryptonite. <laughs> so <there's laughs> glow here. And uh, definitely all soaking in the cancer rays. Now, Chris, this has all been fascinating information, but the question remains, how do you share information? <laughs> um, well, my guess would be that you, uh, you find the information stored away in the archives at your generic cereal making factory, <laughs> and you wait 20 years and then print them on the back of your cereal boxes in 2014. Oh, look at this. Quality since 1912. Which, coincidentally, is when this information about the internet was written. <laughs> now, now it, tells us, it tells us that electronic mail, or email, is the quickest, most efficient method to communicate over the oh, internet. Oh, uh, yep, okay. Uh, I forgot about that one. <laughs> yes. And I, I missed this before. You can send photographs by creating a JPEG. <laughs> Huh. Only a JPEG. <laughs> How does one go about doing that? So remember, email is faster than Twitter, and uh, and JPEGs are the only form of image anyone has ever seen online. Is that like a competing service to Instagram? <laughs> JPEG? <laughs> um, I don't have a JPEG account, do you? I'm afraid I don't. Uh, well, I used to have one, but it got hacked. <laughs> So, uh, so, so I guess these people are getting information about koalas via email <laughs> on their, well, and they're, they're pointing at the screen and, uh, behind their kryptonite is a truck going into an ISP ring in this, uh, weird version of a Mario Kart I think it's actually route. Sonic. Those, 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 ah, gotcha, those gotcha, things. yes. Those are Sonic rings. And, uh, you're just... Driving off the cliff into an endless tunnel of ones and zeros, and frankly, the internet sounds scary, and I am sad that I now know how it works. Be sure to send in your cereal boxes to be riffed by us. <laughs> Except we probably won't ever do this again.